Dojalon Mars Macro Update Beware of Cell Pressure Welcome to our latest video on Dojalon Mars Macro Update. In this video, we will be discussing the latest developments in the world of Dojalon Mars, a new and exciting cryptocurrency that has been making waves in the crypto community. We'll explore more closely at the recent selling pressure in the market and speculate on what it might signal for the future of Dojalon Mars. We will also be exploring the potential reasons behind the selling pressure, including any new developments or updates that may have influenced investor sentiment. Furthermore, we will be discussing the implications of the selling pressure for current Dojalon Mars investors as well as providing tips and advice for those who are considering investing in this exciting and new cryptocurrency. Throughout the video, we will be providing up-to-date news and insights on Dojalon Mars, as well as discussing the wider implications of this crypto phenomenon for the future of the cryptocurrency market. So this video will provide you with all the most recent information and insights on Dojalon Mars. Regardless of your level of investing experience or familiarity with cryptocurrencies. So join us as we investigate the intriguing and rapidly evolving world of cryptocurrency. Welcome to Altcoin Heroes, your most reliable source of cryptocurrency news and predictions. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. We'll upload videos about the latest news, trends, and predictions in crypto. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't be missing out or left behind and be updated. A lot of altcoins are sold all at once. Banks are even selling more and the cryptocurrency market as a whole is consolidating. In today's video, we'll discuss Bitcoin, alternative coins, and recent events that occurred right before the month of May began. Why did a pump appear before a dump? In this video, we'll talk about all of that. What I prefer to focus on right now is what happened to the stock of First Republic Bank. It is merely being dumped and losing value. As many wealthy people shift their assets from banks to cryptocurrencies, which is what we need, this is a positive sign for crypto. We must have widespread acceptance of digital currencies. But if you look closely at the charts, you could see that we are incredibly overbought by looking at the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, it was reasonable to anticipate an altcoin dump. On the bright side, you can observe that we are significantly oversold on a daily basis. At around 400 billion, I don't believe we will be able to break through this resistance. So, at 400 billion, there was a lot of pushback. In fact, we've been trading in this same range of 355 billion and 400 billion for weeks. Therefore, it seems likely that the product will always be overbought to dump and oversold to pump. Possibly, this number will increase to 400 billion, but only until the macro environment is made clear. The altcoin season cannot begin from here, in my opinion. Observe the DXY. You can observe that it seems to be stuck in the channel at 100. You should be aware that since breaking the 100 level is typically positive for cryptocurrencies, we haven't done so yet. However, we constantly overbuy. Therefore, it's possible that we'll see the DXY try to break through to around 100. The price of one Bitcoin is currently approximately $28,000. But notice the volatility. We were only a few dollars away from $30,000 we shot up to over $29,000 and then fell to just under $28,000. And everyone was curious about what had transpired. The Mt. Gox Bitcoin had apparently been relocated, which essentially meant that the Fed was selling out Bitcoin, according to some recent reporting. It certainly is funny. The Fed is somehow involved in the cryptocurrency dump every time there is a crypto pump. Therefore, there is so much market manipulation happening. Also, take note that there is the GDP quarterly Q1 2023 data. There is so much volatility. In contrast to the preceding 2.6%, a 2% increase is projected this year. Now, I know this is an exciting update. But before that, I just wanted to let you know that I would greatly appreciate it if you guys clicked on the like button 
and press the bell over there to turn on your notifications. Done? Alright then, let's continue. Furthermore, the cryptocurrency may experience a small amount of upward trend as a result of this volatility. But once more, everyone was focused on the FOMC meeting on May 3. As a result, the market has priced in a 0.25% increase in the federal rate. If we look ahead to the following month, I believe that it will provide us with some information. About 70% of the market is pricing in a halt to the interest rate increasing. It is at this point that things start to get a little juicy and fascinating. And I also have a question for you. Do you believe that the Fed will take a break at the upcoming FOMC meeting, which is set for June 14, 2023? It's difficult to fully understand that these people can keep raising these federal rate hikes when you consider these institutions and what these rate increases are doing for them. And observing how many individuals are beginning to express dissatisfaction with the cost of food. However, that discussion has somewhat subsided. But people still believe that food is still expensive. Yet again, we'll simply have to wait and watch if the Fed truly decides to pause. You should be a little wary that we are still at the greed level and anticipate that the consolidation and adjustment in the cryptocurrency market will continue because the fear and greed index is currently in the 50s. Other than that, there isn't much fresh information. We are currently going through another adjustment period. So, be careful and remember that this is not financial advice. Never put money into something that you're worried about losing. However, these are typically the most advantageous days for DCA and wallet addition. Additionally, if you're hodling, you need to be aware that there is a significant bullish momentum in the cryptocurrency market. Senator Ted Cruz of the United States is on record as being extremely, extremely positive on the crypto as a whole. You can see that the conventional stock market is attempting to start off in the color green. There is a lot to anticipate. Many of these nations are beginning to organize their regulations. We might also hear anything about the ETF in the third quarter. People believe that trillions of dollars are going to flow into the cryptocurrency market through the spot Bitcoin ETF. As a matter of fact, institutions are holding trillions of dollars back while they wait for regulation and regulation clarity. Please share with me your current cryptocurrency market activities. Do you buy, sell? Hold, or are you just sitting back and waiting for anything to happen? This is merely a piece of information to let you know what's happening with bitcoins, cryptocurrencies, and other assets. These adjustments can occasionally be beneficial ones that increase access for a wider audience. I can guarantee you, there will soon be a mass adoption. Now, let us know what you think. Leave your comments below. We appreciate you for staying till the end. Kindly click the like, subscribe, and notification bell icons if you enjoy this video. Visit our channel for more coin predictions, Bitcoin, altcoins, and cryptocurrency videos. Have a great day and see you in the next video.